Right, so today I'm going to be unboxing my new welder. Don't know if anyone's actually going to care, but we're going to give it a little try out, set it up, see what it's like. I need to make a or adapter stand that I already have to fit this bad boy so I can move it about. Got a little one on the bench there, but let's get to it. I have it because I know what's in it, but it comes with a set of leads for like, stick welding, MMA, pretty beefy clamp. Uh, stick lead, which I'll probably never use. Let me know. What's down? Use a manual. Two quick disconnect gas hoses, because you can run dual bottle on this. So one for MIG, one for TIG. This does, what's that, oh, <clears throat> plug and pins if you were to add an aftermarket torch to it rather than the one that's supplied, or foot pedal even. Pin that up, get this monster out. Cool. Christ almighty, it's a big boy. I mean, it's set up like a caddy welder, but I can't really use it like a caddy welder. It's four times the size of it. Right, so you've got your MIG quick connect hose inlet. Oh, that's nice and snug there. Huh? Ah, so to make sure I mark them when I've got the bottles on. If I have to disconnect them, or I'll just look at the bottles and make sure I'm not being an idiot when I put it back together. But um, I've got no gas for TIG in a minute. I've got a bottle of gas for MIG. I don't know how much is left actually, to be honest with you. I'll have to check that. Because um, it's on my old welder. Which is for sale, if anyone wants it. Uh, spin around so look at the front. It is an absolute bummer. So, front of the machine. Uh, what's this? Looks like voltage control. Um, arc force maybe, wire speed, and then this is to control the digital display, little clicky button. This is uh, obviously a MIG, TIG AC, TIG DC and MMA machine. Um, pretty decent bit of kit from what I've heard, but... I'm no welder, I can stick two bits of metal together, but I am by no stretch of the imagination a good welder. So, let's see if this can make me reasonable. Oh, do I want to peel that off yet? No, I'm going to leave that on. I'll leave that on there. Well, before we power it up, I've got a Stick a plug on the end of this. A bad boy. Um, it's one of these, which you would have seen in the previous video. Me putting a fuse board in to uh, accommodate for the world up. I had to run a 16 amp supply out to a single plug just to run this. Uh, job done. In the 
been. Well, this is the first for both of us. Christ, that light outside is horrific, isn't it? We'll have to do something about that. That's a lot better. Right, well, let's plug it in, see what happens. Please don't go bang. Switch on the back. Ooh, fancy LCD screen. Oh, that's quite loud. No, it's not. Sweet. Right, so what have we got on here? Some spares. Bluetooth. You're having a fucking laugh, aren't you? What's going on here? I didn't know there was an app. Right, well, apparently, the Bluetooth app isn't available in my region. Which is a bit odd, because I'm pretty sure it's a British company. Fuck knows. Anyway, how'd I go back? Hold the barn. There we go. Hold the barn. Mig barn back. Ooh. Okay. I'll leave that all as it is. Mig torch. Sound a torch. Sound a torch. Let's go and help again. Torch. Tick torch. Sound of torch. There we go. So, Meek Synergic. Apparently, this basically like sets it up for you. Oh, what more world in? FE. Mixed gas. Wire diamond. What have I got on the shelf? That's all pretty shitty. I have to grab the stuff out of the uh, current world, which I'm pretty sure is 0.6. Material thickness. I'll be welding this, which is about 3 mil, maybe. Let's have a double check. Boom. Absolute done. Set up. Ready to go. And then on here, there's like a green guide. So obviously if it's uh, not feeding enough wire, you can increase it, but it's recommended area is within this sort of given spec. And then the voltage, again, looks like it starts at smack bang in the middle, and then you can up it or lower it, depending on what it is. Um, this isn't actually 3 mil, it's a little bit under 3 mil, so I'll probably bring that one down, see what happens. But I'm going to do is turn it all off again, load up some wire, and then we'll just squirt a bit of metal out of it, see what happens. <laughs>
sort of setup. I've uh, connected the hose to the gas. This is a pretty janky setup at the minute because I haven't got a trolley for this. That's connected in the back to the big line. I'll, um, but that's it. So the world is all complete set up. I'll unbox the torches, show you them. And then um, start fucking sticking metal together. Right, so I opted for a P2 package. We get a just single regular, same as what I've got there. But I'm going to use it as my, my TIG one. I won't bother getting it out because I don't need it. It's the same as a normal gas regulator. Then this is a TIG torch. You've got your plug for your control, your positive pin, the gas supply line. Which is standard, I guess. And then the torch itself. Um, three button control, which the welder can do 2T or 4T. So you can either hold it and TIG or press it and then press it off. Got your uh, amperage adjustment here. It's got a size, size 7 cup in it and a 2.4 bit of tungsten, which I believe. Yes, grey, so that's 2% seriated, is it? That's I probably butchered that. But I believe that's the one you can do. That's like the, a nice all rounder, does stainless steel, um, works well with AC as well. Um, I thought tungsten was tungsten, but evidently not. Because there apparently there's fucking loads of them. So that's the TikTok. Leave that away for the time being. I shan't be using that today. Because I've got no gas. And the MIG welder. Or MIG torch even. Pretty basic. Normal. Is it a Euro plug? Is that what they call it? Oh, oh nice little built-in hook. I have to make a little bracket on my bench to hang that on. Trigger start, and I believe these are amperage up, amperage down, and then wire speed as well. What size tip we got in here? One mil. Ooh, that's a bit big. I believe I've got some eights. I'm about to change the wire as well, rather than the one point, uh, the point, 0 0.6 wire that was in the old welder, because I need a different wheel to be able to feed it, which isn't a problem. Um, I've got 0.8 wire and one mil wire anyway, so but for mainly what I'll use it for when I'm doing the stuff in my car, it'll be 0 0.6, just because you can run, it's quite thin metal, so you don't want to be running it quite hot, because you just blow holes, make your life even harder. But um, yeah, we get this set up, and uh, give it a blast, see what happens. Need a... I don't like that. I like that. That is a really quite solid bit in. My other word, I modified it to take torches with this connection. Because it was a, the old torch was shit. And you couldn't get any wire out of it, so. Well, I am thoroughly impressed. Where did I, what did I do? There it is. Ground clamp. It was underneath. It's a pretty decent length, that. About three metres. Boom. What an absolute beauty. Let's flick that on. Oh, 
Oh, it's so aggressively. Uh, how do I go back and change these settings? Back again, back again. 0.8, C2, 3 mil. GoPro wasn't recording, or it might have been, I don't know. But there's the world. It was a little eye on feed and everything, but it's pretty pretty easy mode with this one to be fair. I literally tell it the thickness of the metal and it's pretty accurate. I've turned it down a little bit because I'm not it's sort of there's no fillet there, it's pretty like flush. So uh um, see how See how that one goes, quick. I think I might help. It's always good, isn't it? Try that again. It's cold as fuck. on fire. Ah! <coughs> Fuck that up. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. I should not be giving fucking stuff that can hurt me. 
one absolute spaniel. How's that? What? Hello? Oh, nearly lost ya. Try again. That's a bit better. Ignore that clump on the end. I mean, yeah, it looks nice, but it's cold. So, but up the amphibs. Oh, the water feeds to the amphibs. Well, definitely uh, a bit more penetration at the end of that. Clean that off. Thank you, bad. Oh, I clean that up. That's cool. Look. Does it snap off? I think we're going to take the whole fucking bed to me. Oh, fuck. I'll say it's pretty solid. There you have it. Harwell XTM211DI. That's fucking hot. Ah! Um, yeah, there you have it. Nice, nice little welder. Not cheap, but the auto setup and the parameters it gives you sort of in the middle. These bits here. There I do. I didn't even touch the dumpings. So yeah, a little quick look on the inside. Job as a carrot. Uh, next. So the next little video will probably only be a quick one, I might just time lapse it. I'm going to use this bit of scrap to make a base for that little teeth, not cross, for that to bolt to. And I've got an old frame that I'd have previously had a smaller vice on that I snapped, snapped the back clean off. So we'll uh, give that a go, see what happens there. But yeah. Um, like I said, this is uh, just a little unboxing. Here's a welder. Look how terrible I am at welding. Look what you can make me do. But um, other than that, sweet. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. We'll hopefully a tidy desk again, but I doubt it. Cheers.